let's take a look at two examples of solving a system of equations. So there are two methods that most books talk about when you're solving a system of equations. I'll show you both. Regardless of which one you choose for a particular system, there's only one right answer. So if you do both and get two different answers, then something went wrong. So the first method is either called an addition method or sometimes it's called an elimination method. And what you want to do is you want to add two equations so that one of the letters goes away. So I always explain, right, your equation is just like a teeter-totter and it's balanced on the equal sign. So if I have this balanced teeter-totter and this other balanced teeter-totter, if I move everybody from this left side to a third teeter-totter and everybody from this right side to the other side of the third teeter-totter, that third one should still be balanced. So let's go ahead and use the addition method and add the two sides of those equations together. So 2x plus 2x is 3x. Plus y and minus y is 0 y, so I'm not going to write those. And then 6 plus 6 is 12. 3x equals 12, which means that x equals 4. If I go back up to one of these equations, and it doesn't matter which one, plug in 4 for x, this equation is going to tell me y. So 4 minus y equals 6. So negative y equals 2, y equals negative 2. So the solution to this system is the point 4, negative 2. This point works in both equations, makes both of them true. The other method is called the substitution method. For that, you need to isolate one of the letters up here, and it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose y from the top one. So if I solve for y in the top equation, y equals 6 minus 2x. Then I take this new expression for y and plug it in for the y in the second equation. So now I'll rewrite that second equation, but instead of y, I'm going to put its new name. So x minus, okay, I have a minus in front and two things here, so parentheses so that we're careful, equals 6. Get rid of your parentheses. Keep in mind, we know what the answer is. x minus 6 minus a negative plus. 2x equals 6. Add 6 to both sides. And then, okay, x plus 2x is going to be the 3x. Bit fast there, but stay with me. 12, hey, I'm getting back to where I was before. x is 4, and then we know from before we plug that in to figure out what the y partner is. So the addition method where we just added them, that only works if you can make one of the letters go away. So they have to be same coefficient, but a different sign in front. So when I look at my next example down here, I'm just going to use this addition method and show you. If you try to add at this point, none of the letters goes away. You're still stuck with all of them. But what you can do, what if I multiply that bottom equation, if I multiply both sides by 4? So I can hear you asking, can I just do that? Well, remember, when you have an equation, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So what happens when I do that? So on the right hand side, I'm sorry, left hand side, that 4 will distribute. 4x minus 4y. On the right hand side I get 32. We're just going to copy that top equation over. And now look at my y terms. When I add those two together, those guys are going to go away. So 7x, 0y's, equals 33. Divide by 7, x equals 33 sevenths. So to find y, I know what x is. To find y, I could go back up here, plug in 33 sevenths, and solve for y. I'm not going to do that. That looks too ugly. Instead, I'm going to come back up here before I had the 4's, and I'm going to make the x's go away this time and that will leave me with y's. So think about, what would you have to multiply both sides of this equation by to make the x's go away? Right? I have a 3x up here, so I need this x to have a negative 3 in front of it. So I'm short on space, so I'm just going to cross out those 4's and put a negative 3. So here's what I'm going to get now. Now I have the bottom equation becomes negative 3x, plus 3y equals 
negative 24, don't forget to do the right side. Top equation I'm leaving alone, so I'll just recopy. Add these guys together. X's go away. 7y equals 1 minus 24 is negative 23. Finish by dividing by 7. So if x is 33 sevenths and y is negative 23 sevenths, and you plug those into both of these equations, they both are true. So you plug them into the top, everybody tidies up, and you get 1. Plug them in the bottom, what you get is 8.